Hello everyone, welcome to AHR's IAS Institute. We are back again with the important questions for prelims 2020. So let us begin. Question number one. Which of the following statements is or are correct with reference to Article 3? Number one. Form a new state by separation of territory from any state. Number two. Increase the area of any state. Number three. Diminish the area of any state. Number four. Alter the boundaries of any state. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 1 and 4 only. Or D. All. The correct answer is D. All. Article 3 deals with the internal readjustment inter se of the territories of the constituent states of the Union of India. Article 3 authorizes the Parliament to a. Form a new state by separation of territory from any state or by uniting two or more states or parts of states or by uniting any territory to a part of any state. b. Increase the area of any state. c. Diminish the area of any state. d. Alter the boundaries of any state. E. Alter the name of any state. However, Article 3 lays down two conditions in this regard. 1. A bill contemplating the above changes can be introduced in the Parliament only with the prior recommendation of the President. And 2. Before recommending the bill, the President has to refer the same to the State Legislature concerned for expressing its views within a specified period. Let's move on to question number two. Choose the correctly matched pairs, endemic species with the habitat. Number one, lion-tailed macaque, Kerala. Number two, pygmy hog, Uttarakhand. Number three, flying squirrel, Arunachal Pradesh. Number four, red sanders, Kashmir. Select the ans answer using the codes given below. A, one and three only. B, two and three only. C, one and four only. Or D, three and four only. The correct answer is A. 1 and 3 only. A recent assessment for the IUCN reports 3000 to 3500 of these animals live scattered over several areas in Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. The lion-tailed macaque ranks among the rarest and most threatened primates. Their range has, to, has become increasingly isolated and fragmented by the spread of agriculture and tea, coffee, tea and chinchona, construction of water reservoirs for irrigation and power generation and even human settlements to support such activities. The lion-tailed macaque is a rainforest dweller. It is diurnal, meaning it is active exclusively in day daylight hours. It is a good climber and spends a majority of its life in the upper canopy of tropical moist evergreen forest. The pygmy hog is native to alluvial grasslands in the foothills of the Himalayas at elevations of up to 300 meters. Today, the only known population lives in southern Bhutan and in Assam, India. As the population is estimated at less than 250 mature individuals, it is listed as endangered on the IUCN red list. Hence, the statement, uh, the second one is incorrect. The Namdafa flying squirrel is an arboreal nocturnal flying squirrel endemic to Arunachal Pradesh in northeast India, where it is known from a single specimen collected in Nampa, Na, Namat, collected in Namdafa flying squirrel is listed as a critically endangered by the IUCN. The range of the Namdafa flying squirrel may be restricted to a single valley and it is threatened by poaching of animals for food from within the park and possibly by habitat destruction. The Namdafa flying squirrel is an arboreal nocturnal flying squirrel endemic to Arunachal Pradesh in northeast India, where it is known from a single specimen collected in Namdafa National Park in 1981. The Namdafa flying squirrel is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. The range of the Namdafa flying squirrel may be restricted to a single valley and it is threatened by poaching of animals for food from within the park and possibly by habitat destruction. Red sandalwood or rak chandan is a species endemic to the southern eastern Ghat mountain range of South India. This tree is valued for the rich red color of its wood. 
the wood is not aromatic the tree is not to be confused with the aromatic santalom sandalwood trees that grow natively in south india it was listed as an endangered species by the iucn because of over exploitation for its timber in south india however it was later classified reclassified to near threatened in 2018 as the scale of this loss is not properly known it is also listed in the appendix 2 of the cites which means that a certificate is required in order to export it that sh- that should not only be granted if the trade is not detrimental to the survival of the species and statement number 4 is also incorrect so only 1 and 3 are correct let's move on Question number three: Which of the following statements is or are correct? Number one: The Prime Minister is the ex-officio chairperson of the National Disaster Management Authority. Number two: National Disaster Management Authority recommends guidelines guidelines for the minimum standards of relief to be provided to persons affected by disaster. Select the answer using the codes given below: A one only, B two only, C both, or D none. and the correct answer is c both the disaster management act 2005 provided for the creation of the national disaster management authority to spearhead and implement a holistic and integrated approach to disaster management in the country the ndma is the apex body for disaster management in the country it works under the administrative control of the union ministry of home affairs The NDMA consists of a chairperson and other members, not exceeding nine. The Prime Minister is the ex officio chairperson of the NDMA. The other members are nominated by the chairperson of the NDMA. The chairperson of the NDMA designates one of the members as the vice chairperson of the NDMA. The vice chairperson has the status of a cabinet minister, while the other members have the status of a minister of state. Question number four. Consider the following statements. Number one, Indo-Saracenic architecture introduced the use of minars, arch, and domes to provide spaciousness. Number two, the Indo-Saracenic architecture involved the use of human and animal figures. Number three, the buildings had intricate jali works, which signifies the importance of light. Which of the following statements is or are incorrect? A one and two only. B two only. C one two three or D three only. And the correct answer is two only. Only the second statement is incorrect. The first and third are absolutely right. Indo-Islamic architecture or Indo-Saracenic architecture avoided the use of human and animal figures. Hence, statement number two is incorrect. Instead, arabesque method was used to decorate. Arabesque cube met the use of geometrical vegetal ornamentation and was characterized by a continuous stem which split regularly, producing a series of counterpoised leafy secondary stems. The secondary stems in turn split again or returned to merge with the main stem creating a decorative pattern. The architecture of this period heavily used the principles of geometry from decorative patterns to imbibing a sense of symmetry. An important feature of the architecture during this period was the use of water in the premises of the constructions in the form of courtyard pools, fountains and small drains. The architecture of these times also used the pietra dura technique for the in inlay of precious stones and gems into the stone walls the use of arch and domes gained prominence during this period it was known as arcuate style of architecture and replaced the traditional trabeat style of architecture the islamic rulers introduced the use of minars around the mosque and mausoleums while the previous structures used sculptures as means of decoration the indo islamic architecture used calligraphy as means of decoration let's move on Question number five. Consider the following statements. Number one, with respect to central legislation, here constitutional amendment bills cannot be rejected or returned. Number two, in state legislation, with respect to money bill, it can only be ratified. Number three, when a bill is reserved by the governor for the consideration of the president, then the president can exercise pocket veto. Select the answer using the codes given below. A all, B none, C one and three. Or D two only.
the correct answer is c 1 and 3 only the second statement was incorrect because money bill can be ratified or rejected by state legislation but not returned the president has veto power with respect to state legislation also a bill passed by a state legislature can become an act only if it receives the assent of the governor or the president in case the bill is reserved for consideration of the president when a bill passed by a state legislature is presented to the governor for his assent he has four alternatives under article 200 of the constitution these are number one he may give his assent to the bill or number two he may withhold his assent to the bill or number three he may return the bill if it is not a money bill for reconsideration of the state legislature or number four he may reserve the bill for the consideration of the president when a bill is reserved by the governor for the consideration of the president the president then has three alternatives under article 201 of the constitution those three are he may give his assent to the bill or he may withhold his assent to the bill or he may direct the governor to return the bill if it is not a money bill for the reconsideration of the state legislature if the bill is passed again by the state legislature with or without amendments and presented again to the president for his assent the president is not bound to give his assent to the bill this means that the state legislature cannot override the veto power of the president further the constitution has not prescribed any time limit within which the president has to take decision with regard to a bill reserved by the governor for his consideration hence the president can exercise exercise pocket veto in respect of state legislation also right let's move on question number 6 libra recently seen in news is number 1 it's a soil technique involving uptake from the soil Number two, it is a market-based system where the government sets a cap on emissions and allows industries to buy and sell permits to stay below the cap. Number three, it is a platform on stock exchanges where startups can list and trade on their shares. Number four, none of the above. The correct answer is... For none of the above. It is a blockchain based cryptocurrency to be launched in 2020 by Facebook subsidiary company Calibra using programming language called Move. Unlike Bitcoin, this Libra coins exchange rate will be stable because Libra's value backed with financial assets like GSEC flat fiat currencies. You can buy Libra with fiat money stored in Calibrate wallet. Libra can also be reconverted to fiat money. Phyto extraction, a soil technique involving uptake from the soil, hence one is incorrect. Emissions trading scheme, ETS, is a market-based system where the government sets a cap on emissions and allows industries to buy and sell permits to stay below the cap. Hence, number two is also incorrect. Innovators Growth Platform is a platform on stock exchanges where startups can list and trade on their shares. Okay, so it's Innovators Growth Platform, not Libra. Let's move on. Question number seven, which of the following statements is or are correct? Number one, Brent crude oil originates from oil fields in the North Sea, while West Texas Intermediate is sourced from Texas, Louisiana, and North Dakota. Number two, West Texas Intermediate has low sulf lower sulfur content and is considered sweeter than Brent. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A1 only, B2 only, C both, or D none. Correct answer is C. Both. Both oils are relatively light, but Brent has a slightly higher API gravity, making WTI the lighter of the two. American Petroleum Institute API gravity is an indicator of the density of crude oil or refined products. Brent crude price is the international benchmark price used by the OPEC, while WTI crude price is a benchmark for US oil prices. Since India imports primarily from OPEC countries, Brent is the benchmark for oil prices in India. Cost of shipping for Brent crude is typically lower since it is produced near the sea and it can be put on ships immediately. Question number 8. Dehing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary situated in which of the following states? A. Assam, B. Nagaland, C. Kashmir or D. None. The correct answer is 
Assam. The Dehing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary is also known as the Jaipur Rainforest. It is located in the Dibrugarh and Tinsukia district of Assam. The Dehing is the name of the river that flows through this forest and Patkai is the hill at the foot of which the sanctuary lies. Beautiful fauna, rare fauna found in the region include Chinese pangolin, flying fox and wild pig, sambar, barking deer, gore, siro and Malayalin gi giant squirrels. Flora includes Dehing Patkai is a deciduous rainforest interspersed with semi-evergreen and lush green flora. Question number 9. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Number 1. The Dravidian temples were surrounded by high boundary walls with only one vimana in the top of the main temple. Number 2. The temple premise is laid out in the Panchayatin style with the principal temple and four subsidiary sh shrines in Nagara style. Select the answer using the codes given below. A both, B none, C one only or D two only. The correct answer is C1 only. The second statement is incorrect because Dravidian style or Chola style follows the Panchayatin style architecture. An important feature of the Chola temples was the importance placed on the decoration through sculptures. An important piece of Chola sculpture was the sculpture of the Natraja in the Tandava dance posture. Though the earliest known Natraja sculpture <clears throat> which has been excavated at the Ravanpindi cave at Aihol was made during the early Chalukya rule. The sculpture reached its peak under the Cholas. Under the patronage of the Chola rulers, hundreds of temples were built in South India. It was a continuation of the previous Pallava architecture with some variations. This is what came to be known as the Dravidian style of temple architecture. Last question, number 10, the Biodiversity Finance in Initiative, Biofin, is a global partnership that helps governments cost, plan and pay for action on biodiversity conservation and its sustainable use. It is an initiative of A, IPCC, B, World Bank, C, None or D, IMF, International Monetary Fund. Correct answer is... None. The initiative is run by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, with support from the governments of Germany, Switzerland and the European Union. The Biofin methodology is being used by 19 countries to analyze, calculate and develop strategies to generate the funds they need to meet national biodiversity targets. That's all for today. Thank you for watching us. Please like, comment and share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are there on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow us. All the best. We will be back soon.